Okay, that episode was filled with nightmare fuel. I mean, Jesus Christ. You thought SpongeBob had gotten depri depraved. So this is episode 11, Poison Pie, of Game Shakers. Uh, so the episode involves... Let me get a quick refresher. So they're creating sound effects for video games and... Uh, yeah, we're in. The, it's a it's a harmless enough scene, except then comes to the point where Hudson drops a uh, drops a cylinder block on uh, Trip's foot by accident, and then Trip tra tries to shake the ladder, and then Baby Kids they don't no no don't shake the ladder, don't make Hudson fall. Well, I think he's kind of justified in doing so after the boy dropped a cinder block on his foot. Then again, he did it. He didn't. He did it by accident. He didn't do it on purpose. But still, should have known better. Uh, so then, two cops, two of the most inanely stupid cops I've ever seen in any show. They're worse than Officer Carl in uh, on iCarly from the episode. Uh, I move out. Because, like, oh my god. This. I was thinking to myself in that episode. This man should not be a cop anymore. These two should have never been cops in the, to begin with. Um. So, yeah. They, they got a noise complaint from the guy next door. From the business next door. A guy who works cleaning people's ears. And the guy who. The guy who. His, like, hunchback kind of assistant. Uh, is this really weird, nutty person. Kind of like... Who would give, like... It's like if Quasimodo and Igor had a baby. Is this guy in a nutshell. <laughs> so, he... What happens after that is he is... Babe... Uh, Kenzie makes him, her grandmother's special peach pie in order to get her to, uh, in order to try to make peace with him. But then there's a problem. It turns out, and he's, he's a very nice guy. And also, like, after the noise complaint, Babe wants revenge just because he made a complaint about them for the noise. And, uh, Trip is fully supporting, Trip is fully supporting this. I'm not, I mean, like, is that the message you want to send kids? That, like, somebody does something wrong, wrong to you? Like, turn you in for something? Your response, the appropriate response would be to try to get revenge? Um, do you want kids to be that petty? Because you're sounding that petty by giving them this message. And what happens next is, yeah, they give them... They give him the pie, which Babe doesn't want anything to do with working on the pie because she is terrified, beyond terrified, of peaches. And we never find out why. I mean, like, if you're going to give somebody a phobia in an episode of a show, you got to have reason for the phobia. Otherwise, it's just a senseless plot point that really doesn't have any purpose. Which, it kind of comes into play in the end, but at the same time... Uh, it just, it confuses the living daylights out of me. So then the cops come and they want to arrest Babe and Kenzie because they believe the pie, the guy ended up sick in the hospital, the, the ear doctor ended up sick in the hospital and they believe the pie was the reasoning as to why. Which you immediately think this guy, he's faking his illness in order to and the fact that they didn't go this direction, I kind of commend them for. But it doesn't make up for all the other shit in the episode. Oh, by the way, if this episode is a bottom of the bakery, it's pretty obvious what the uh, bizarro is going to be. It's going to be I Hurt Lubert. Uh, and, which is appropriate, because the actor who played Lubert's in this episode. <laughs> playing a character who actually is, believe it or not, far more irritating than Lubert. Which, Lubert was purposely irritating. This guy is just... 
Yes, this guy's per... L Lubert was, like, tamely irritating. This guy is insanely irritating. Because you just don't know what the fuck his deal is. You don't know what the fuck his deal is. And so these cops, they are, the, they are complete and total imbeciles. I mean, like, Hudson steals their handcuffs and they do not find any reason. He says he's... Oh, he says he was biologically hurt in a lab. I I may actually believe him. <laughs> By the way, it's after two, which means uh, it's nearly two, which means when I'm filming this on uh, February fifteenth, which means hey, world didn't end like Ghostbusters two predicted. <laughs> Anyways, uh, small little tangent. So it comes to the point where they bring the pie, and Kenzie. Uh, Kenzie is, Babe refuses to eat the pie, which the, the officers say, if you can eat the pie and prove it is not poison, then we don't have any reason to arrest you. And why arrest, they are, what, 12 year old girls, you're going to arrest them like criminals? Now granted, yes, kids do go to jail, it's called juvenile hall, they don't go to prison. Which it seems to be what this episode is heavily implying. That if any kid commits a crime, they go to jail. That's not how it works. And so they have this subplot where like... Uh, Trip and Dub, they go to the ear doctor's place in order to try to prove that... He wasn't poisoned by Babe and Kenzie. And... Trip's ears are completely clean when the doctor looks in, but then Trip, Dub has all kinds of, like, insane wax build up so, to the point that they have to stick tubes up his ears and drain all the wax out that way. And he looks visibly in pain while they're doing this. It, it, it is kind of terrifying the way that they do this. I mean, like, seriously, uh, that, that, that gave kids nightmares. Even more so than anything that was in Scared Tripless or... There you go. Uh, yeah, so Babe and Kenzie... Uh, Babe refuses to eat the... They say... The officers tell them they eat the pie. They prove that... It's not poisoned. And that they didn't have anything to do with the doctor's illness. Um, Babe refuses to eat the pie because of phobia. Kenzie is going to eat the pie, but then realizes Babe's the one who made the crust, and she asks Babe, "Did you brought? Did you do anything to the crust that would make him sick?" Babe continuously says she did not, and Kenzie doesn't believe her. Wow, that is a vote of confidence in the friendship between your two main characters, in which, <laughs> and I thought "Believe Me, Brother" was bad for this. "Believe Me, Brother" being a really good episode of Dragon Josh, and yet at the same time, like. Drake is so willing to believe this girl he's going out with more than his stepbrother that but he's more willing to believe that his stepbrother tried to make inappropriate advances on his girlfriend than his girlfriend making inappropriate uh, advances on his stepbrother. That, that pushed my believability a bit. But still, like, it's a really good episode, even though that's a problem. And even then, we don't need to see Drake apologize to Josh at the end of the episode. Once again, moving on. <sighs> so, like, Kenzie is absolutely refu- Kenzie cannot bring herself to eat the pie. Because she just really refuses to believe Babe didn't poison it. The crust. So then, they're about to- They're cuffing ba Kenzie, preparing to take- her to jail because she made the pie, which drives Babe to take the giant fork, which looks like the same one for my spy, I mean teacher, and eat the pie. And she actually like really loves it. And she knows she wonders why the hell was I even terrified of of peaches or afraid of getting sick from peaches to begin with? And she's just she's eating it up, and she's like, and that's where that that's where that part of the episode ends. And then we get back to uh. The ear shop, and then, like, after Dub finishes having his ears pretty, his ears sucked completely clean, uh, 
Trip gets him some of the uh, j some of the cucumber water to drink because his mouth is dry. But then, like, there's a small little turtle inside it, and it turns out that the associate put the turtle into the water because the turtle told him to. <laughs> this is like the uh, nostalgic Arc review of Pixels. Just watching them talk about the things in the movie before even seeing the movie, I was like, no, that can't be real. Me, I'm sure you're watching this right now and you're thinking to myself as I'm describing this, no, that can't be fucking real because that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And it is the stupidest thing you've ever heard with good reason. And what happens next is, yeah, so that one of the other doctors says, well, that explains why he was poisoned, because he drinks the cucumber water all the time, and uh, tortoise, turtle urine is bad for humans consumption. Which then, if you thought Dub getting the earwax sucked out of his ears with those tubes was bad, he puts it into his mouth and they suck the cucumber juice out of his stomach. That is how the episode ends. And they go into the credits like... Wow. Wow. It's, and now there's, there's like creating things that could vaguely give kids nightmares. And then there's just flat out trying to scare all your viewers to death. I can't believe they actually thought that was a good idea. Like, <laughs> like sticking, having a, Having what's-his-name get a shot in his ass was a good idea. That's... Having Dub get a shot in his ass at the end of Scary Triplets. They thought that was a good idea. <sighs> yeah, so... This is a bad episode. Uh... And I can't believe that, uh... <laughs> I can't believe Nick thought this was okay. I really don't. Now, granted... Some of the stuff they do, they got away with on Spongebob, it's nowhere near as bad as that. But at the same time, they let Dan Schneider get away with murder with any of his shows. And they really shouldn't because you, you've seen what he can do, what he does in his shows. How inanely uncaring he is. I mean, like, I remember watching Pixels and just being unmoved by it because like I thought to myself it's just the usual stick stick Adam Sandler does uh, and I pity the movie more but no I actually kind of get legitimately angry at the movie because they made no effort with it instead of doing the story that they should have making it about battling the video games instead they just make that a baseline to do all of his usual stuff in all of his Happy Madison movies. It is inanely in uncaring and inanely lazy. <sighs> this is inanely lazy and uncaring. And the fact that they're not even trying... The, the Thundermans, even though it's a lot funnier now than it was when it first started, it gives a shit. It, even before... When it wasn't as good, it gave a shit. This, Dan Schneider and his crew at Schneider's Bakery, they are acting like they pretty much don't care. They are pretty much just throwing everything out on the assembly line. Or res they're not just simply recycling. They're actively putting everything in and only reshaping it so much so that... It comes out very similar with very few changes. And like I said, and like Pi Guy, Pi Guy has indicated, this is a team that has shown they can be good, that they can produce good quality kids TV. And this is not good quality kids TV. <sighs> well, that's it for this one, you guys. Catch you on the flip side.